Hi guys, I've had four requests now to make a rubber band powered car that goes along and picks something up and carries it for two metres. I did a very simple version that just goes along, hits the item, whatever it is, tips it into the front of the car and then carries on so it just scoops it up as it goes along. But I'm now looking at the possibility of doing some sort of spring-loaded grabber. So these are just bits of my polystyrene pizza trays that I keep using, uh, simply because it's easy to work with it. It's not going to be very strong. I've um, got a couple of ball pen tubes here that I've pushed through. So I've got two on one side and one on the other. The idea being they can overlap, so that's the sort of idea. And then we'll have a rubber band pulling about here and here, so that that's trying to close it. And then we'll have to have some sort of uh, trigger, basically just a piece of foam or something sticking up between them at the front. Oh, that's just off camera, isn't it? Between the fingers at the front there so that something hits that out the way and then the fingers will instantly grab it and hold it still. I have to have a, a back plate as well for it to hold it up against. So that's what I'm looking at. I've no idea if it'll work. And certainly one of the requests was to use three number 64 rubber bands. And those rubber bands have to power the car and power the grabber, whatever it may be. So I'm thinking of using either one to power the car and two to power the grabber or two to power the car and one to power the grabber. Depends how strongly we need this to close. And I'll use a barbecue skewer or something as the pivot point. So that's the general idea. I'll stick it together and see if it works. Right, there's my three-fingered grabber. I'm not using number 64 rubber bands at the moment. In fact, that's quite a tiny rubber band because we don't need a lot of power to do the closing. So the idea is we hit something that knocks this spacer out of the way. And hopefully whatever we've hit will get caught in there. Well, we'll give it a try. Well, it grabbed, and it carried on for a bit, but the item is dragging on the floor, so we didn't get two metres with it. But I think that that's enough. I don't think I need to do any more. Because I'm not going to do your project entirely for you. That gives you the idea, some basics of how to do it. So I'll just go over the bits again. Let's put the camera down. spring-loaded grabber here with a, a trigger holding the fingers apart. When it hits the item that falls out the way or gets knocked out the way and the item gets grabbed in the fingers. What you need to sort out is the weights really because 
there doesn't seem to be any rules about what this item is, how heavy it is. It needs to be heavy enough to knock the trigger out the way, but light enough for the fingers to pick it up and carry it away. So there's a basic idea for you. I'll just show you that how that's sprung again. I've got a rubber band there, a couple of bits of string. So that rubber band's pulling it shut. That'll do for me. That's as far as I'm going to go.